Hello everyone, Crash Bunny Spark 12 Academy Crash here, and today we're back with a new part of Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, so let's talk to Mr. Koala. Jolly good die! You've collected enough thunder eggs to power the machine! Let's give it a go, shall we? Outstanding! Simply outstanding! The energy levels are off the scale, and, 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 yes, yes, I've got a lock on one of the talismans! Stand back, Ty! It's coming through! Yep. So, right now, we're going to the first boss fight, which is Ball's Pen. And we have to be careful. You have to make him... Oh, shit. We have to make sure he's... Dogs. A little laggy but <laughs> you need to make sure that he runs into the target and you need to be careful because you know you, need, you have to jump to the side once he you know he jumps into these uh, things also um, excuse me each hit um, he does some stuff like the ways that he just did right now and you just need to, for, to wait for him to come near you Oh, and also you need to be careful because, yeah, he can hit you pretty bad. <laughs> and then you lose some of your stuff, well, some of your health. But uh, overall, this boss fight is actually... Uh, it's okay. The other boss fights are actually much better than this one, but it's, you know, it's challenging. You need to know when to go away from the field. And oh shit, you hit me. Twice, actually. <laughs> That's great. And now we have one more hit left on this boss fight, gladly. And um, we're pretty much done with this one. But um, either way, this is a pretty easy boss fight uh, in this game. Uh, kind of like how Crash Bandicoot is. And. Um, I'm not sure if many people have noticed, but... Oh, shit. Wait, so... Oh, yeah. I have many lives, so it responds automatically. Well done, Ty. You've retrieved the first of the ancient talismans. When Boss Cass discovers that we are out to thwart his plans, he will do all in his power to stop you. Be careful, my friend. She'll be right, old timer. Shock me, lucky you actually found the talisman. I just might have bet on the wrong horse. Anyway, mate, Julius has got a present for you at his lab. Yep, <clears throat> so pretty much we're done with the first boss fight, and we've got our first talisman. I've made <laughs> a most exciting discovery. The talisman machine is brimming with excess energy from the fire thunder eggs. By diverting that energy to my special hyper techno boomerang maker, I can make special elemental rangs. Watch. Simply smashing, I present to you the Flamerang. You beauty! Yes, yes, this ring can start fires and melt ice. It even has a more powerful effect on some enemies. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. It will aid you well in your quest. Now, do try it out! Yep, so... Uh, sorry for the game for cutting me out, but... <laughs> uh, we finished the first boss fight and we've got the first talisman. And this lab... In this lab, we're pretty much gonna get uh, more boomerangs. There, In this game, there are different boomerangs. Uh, you know, different uh, elementals, in a way. So we have the normal rang and we have the flame rang. 
So there are plenty of more that will help you to to guide you. It will help to guide you through the game. For example, um, there is the zoom uh, zoomerang that you know if you want to hit targets that are far away, you it, that's pretty much gonna help you get them. So let's try out another one. The talisman machine requires this many ice thunder eggs to work. Why is this so? The frost delirious eggs require a critical mass of antimatter goodness linked to challenge response quark indicators. These, in turn, reamplify the vector streaming oscillators for a perfunctory quantum prolapse, resulting in a pedestal ball phenomenon. They're out there, so keep looking, Ty. Actually, I think I went to the wrong place. <laughs> uh, it's here that you have to do this. Oh my! You found enough golden cogs, haven't you? These will be perfect for my latest invention. I call it the Cogulacious Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Ty, it's a machine I designed to create cutting edge techno rangs. Oh my! This is very nice. It's a zoomerang. The zoomerang has a built-in telescopic aimer. Press the ties view button to activate it. Use the movement stick to aim and the camera stick to zoom in and out on enemies for greater throwing accuracy. No worries. To select it, use the previous rang and next rang buttons to cycle through your collection. The cutscenes seem to go a little bit off, but here, as you can see, we can uh, pretty much zoom in on this little milby or kangaroo. I don't know what it is exactly, but uh, pretty much um, it's pretty easy to use. We can even zoom in on this. Um, what is it called? Rainbow Cliff. And uh, pretty much it's a pretty useful uh, weapon, I guess you could say. And I'm pretty sure we have enough... Um, <coughs> what is it called? Golden Cog. So let's try it out for another one. Hello again, Ty! Ah! I see you found some more Golden Cogs smashing! Ty, let's try them out in the Rang Machine! Eureka! We've created a multi-rang! According to my calculations, the multi-rang will allow you to throw a lot of rangs at the same time! Pew beauty! Yep, so pretty much as you can see, you can throw a bunch of boomerangs. Uh, at once, which is a pretty useful thing. Whoa. <laughs> Especially if you have a lot of enemies going on your ass. Alright, let's... Maybe... Let's try... Uh, maybe there's another one. Haven't I told you already? Okay, then no. <laughs> um, you need, I guess, 15 golden cogs in order to get this thing right. Alright, so right now... I'm not too sure if we're going to the right area. But I think we have to go up there. Yeah, we must go up here. And uh, we're going to the next uh, area in this game. This game is quite short, especially if you do, don't do it, if you don't cut the parts in half. Uh, like, each part is, you know, around half an hour or so. Um, so gameplay is very long for each level. Alright, let's melt the ice. You need to use the flame ring. And who might this be? Hmm, he's smarter than I thought. Yeah, pretty much that was uh, Sly. Not Sly Cooper, but uh, 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 I was about to say Sly the Hedgehog. We're not gonna collect the cliffs yet. I want to live it to the end of the game. And um, we have three new more levels to explore too. 
So, in the next part, we are going to head into Snow Worries. So, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to drop a comment in or a like. And if you're a new watcher, subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate that. Hope to have new more, more new followers on my Let's Play. So, yeah, in the next part, I'm gonna see you in uh, Snow Worries. So, thanks for watching and goodbye.